Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and host of Fighting Words Financial. And today I wanted to talk to you about a company that ARK Invest recently exited and uh, meaning they sold out their position and that is Splunk Technology. So why am I covering something that ARK Invest doesn't want to touch anymore? Well, first of all, I think it should be noted that not everyone is right all of the time, not even the great Kathy Wood. And second of all, you may actually still be interested in this stock for one reason or another, or you may hold a position in the stock and you want to know, uh, it might be helpful for you to understand the reasons why Kathy Wood and ARK Invest may have exited from this stock. Third, it's actually a really very interesting company that you may not know very much about and still probably has a lot of room to run. So hopefully I'll provide you with all of the knowledge you need today in order to make a decision on your own about whether or not you'd like to invest in this stock. Speaking of that, of course, nothing in this video should be considered as financial advice aimed at any individual and nothing that I say in this video should be considered instruction to buy, sell, or hold any security. So let's talk a little bit about Splunk Technology. Now, this is a company that I may or may not have covered if it hadn't have been for someone mentioning it through my Patreon group on the Discord server. Uh, and the reality is I really should have. It's far more important than many people may realize. And they have a huge customer base with some of the most important companies on the planet. And let's talk about what's going on right now. So data is really changing the world. And, and I'm talking, you know, the, the types of data that you and I don't necessarily encounter every day, but the companies use. Now, you probably heard it on the news, you probably heard it on YouTube, that data is changing the world, or interviews, or something else along those lines, and those folks are correct. Over the past two decades, the importance of data has skyrocketed, with companies around the world investing more and more of their capital into systems that help them manage and understand their data. With the emergence of new technologies, data collection has become a more accessible process for a lot of companies. However, there's an important difference between the data that you and I look at and understand and the data that companies are interested in. The latter type is called structured data, but you probably heard it referred to something as big data. This type of data is something that really can't be understood by mere humans. Trust me, I've tried. Not, not that I'm an expert or a genius or anything like that, but we're looking at large data sets that are really hard to be comprehended by just simply the mere human mind. So what can be done about this? Well, folks, there are several companies that are leading the way in the AI-driven big data space. And among them are several well-known names like IBM, Oracle, and the recently public Palantir. But let me introduce you to another one of them, and that is Splunk Technology. Splunk Technology was founded in 2003 by a trio of entrepreneurs who aimed to provide a solution to a problem that they kept seeing over and over and over while they were trying to communicate with companies. Many of the companies that they talked to didn't have a clue how to understand the data that they were generating. What's more, they didn't even think it was important at the time. The founders of Splunk had the foresight to sense the importance of big data for businesses and sought to create a software that would allow companies to collect, understand, and report on data that was relevant to their operations. Splunk 1.0 was launched as far back as 2004 and utilized by a small group of clients. The feedback they gave to Splunk was overwhelmingly positive and helped fuel further growth. As more and more businesses began using Splunk software, that led to more interest from larger companies within the United States. In 2012, Splunk had its initial public offering and was listed on the NASDAQ. Since then, the company has conducted large-scale acquisitions of smaller companies within the space, merging with BugSense, CloudMeter, Metaphor, and a few others. They have a massive client list and they can boast more than 13,000 businesses as clients. This growth has actually culminated in Splunk Technology products being used by 92 out of the 100 companies on the Fortune 100 list. And folks, that is not bad at all. Splunk has also interestingly launched its own venture capital fund, allocating $150 million of its own resources to invest in organizations that enhance the value of data and have a positive social impact. Now at this point you might be thinking, okay, they've got a bunch of customers, they've had incredible growth, but what does Splunk actually do? Well, let me explain. As mentioned, big data is essential to many businesses worldwide. It helps inform business decisions and ultimately helps them improve the bottom line. But here's the thing, it's unreadable by you know regular human beings and that's where Splunk comes in. Their software can analyze this big data in its structured or unstructured form and it simplifies it into a format that business executives and decision makers can understand. So overall, you know, pretty important stuff to the business of a business doing business, right? So Splunk software can take this big data and create graphs, reports, tables, 
dashboards, visualizations, you name it. In that respect, it's very similar to Palantir software. What's more, their software has some incredible uh, AI-driven analytical abilities. It can automatically detect patterns in the data that highlight challenges or present opportunities for the business. But one of the most important aspects of Splunk software is its scalability. Due to this, their technology is accessible to a wide variety of companies from small firms all the way up to Fortune 100 corporations. Finally, Splunk systems operate in real time so businesses can analyze and interpret what is happening right now. Due to the importance of big data, it's pretty clear to see at this point how all of these elements of Splunk software could be an attractive prospect for companies looking to analyze their data. So what's next for the company and what does their financial condition look like? Now we've touched a little bit on Splunk's background and the services they offer, but what does this mean for the future of the company and their current financial condition? Before we take a look at their financials, we first need to briefly mention their transition to cloud-based technologies that they initiated a few years ago. Splunk changed its processes to offer cloud-based services following the trends within the industry at the time. Now, this was put into place to ensure that they remain relevant and also to appeal to companies that were interested in the cost-saving benefits of cloud computing. So why am I bringing this up? Well, Splunk's shift to the cloud has seriously negatively impacted their financials. The cloud-based software operates on a subscription service rather than through licenses, which means that for Splunk, its revenue is going to appear weaker under the generally accepted accounting principles that are used to analyze a company's financials here in the United States. Subscription revenue you know, from cloud-based services is recognized over time rather than in large upfront payments, which is going to show up initially as slower revenue growth in Splunk's financials. Indeed, revenues dropped 6% in the final quarter of 2020 as compared to the previous year. And also, this shift to cloud services has impacted Splunk's margins. Gross margins fell to 83% at the end of 2020, down from 87% the year before. Folks, these are still really high margins. Now, in terms of stock price, Splunk is currently down about 21% since the beginning of the year. I think some of that reflects the panic in, uh, in tech investing right now, and it's sitting right at about $134 a share at the time of this recording. Now, taking all of this into consideration, I can't really say that Splunk is a great investment right at this minute, but it is certainly a company to keep an eye on for the long term and to look for entry points over the next two or three years. Yes. I think they have an incredible service offering, and yes, I think there is exceptional demand for their products and services, but the numbers don't back up a big move right now. It's going to take a while for subscription model revenues to catch up to the large upfront payments that license fees were bringing in. But based on my assessment of the overall product offerings and the strength of the business model and the strength of the client base, I feel that this is likely to happen over time. I think there's going to be multiple really good entry points into the stock over the next two or three years. All right, folks, so this is the point where I'm going to give you my final thoughts in this company before I wrap up the video. And here you go. So looking at the macro level, Splunk Technology really looks like a fantastic firm. They've got a great product that solves a lot of problems for a lot of companies. The demand is there and they have a vast portfolio of prestigious companies using their services. Yet their revenue numbers just aren't quite where they should be right now and that's largely due to that switch to the subscription model. Due to that shift to cloud-based services, their revenues have taken quite a beating through the lens of generally accepted accounting principles. This is unfortunate as this subscription you know, based billing method has meant that their financials don't look so good right now and it's led to some stock declines. Overall though, I think that Splunk really has a promising future and it may be something that I look into as their earnings reports are released throughout the year, but right now I'm just gonna sit on the sidelines. As always folks, thank you for tuning into the channel. The support you show by liking and subscribing to my channel is great. Please check out my Patreon link in the description below and let me know what you think of Splunk down in the comments. Are you a fan? Do you think it's time to wait a bit? Are you willing to jump in? Let me know how wrong you think I am in the comments below. And lastly, once again, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks and I'll see you next time.